there's one thing Australia's good at, one area in which we dominate, it's being lazy. <sighs> and if there's one industry that knows it, lucky. insurance. It's insurance. It's a real hassle trying to decide which company to go with in the first place. This one covers hail damage, but that one has a lower excess, and that one provides a free hire car if you have a prank. I never want to have to go through this again. And insurers know that when they send out their annual renewal notices, <laughs> most of us won't bother checking whether we can get a better deal. Oh, I'll open it later. We just assume that if we've been with the same company for a while, they'll look after us. Where would we get an idea like that from? Loyalty's a wonderful thing. We like to reward your loyalty. The longer you remember, the more you can save. What they really reward is switching. Switch now for a free Geo Platinum upgrade. Switch to NRMA and we'll beat your car renewal price by 10%. Switch your comprehensive car insurance online to save $100. While excluding their loyal customers from those deals. Offer does not apply to existing AAMI car insurance policy holders. What's more, they often slug people who don't query their renewal notices with a lazy tax, an invisible surcharge on consumer apathy. Uh, could someone pre-chew this for me? Take James here, for example. He's a lazy tax dodger. Hey. Sorry. Someone who dodged the lazy tax. That's better. NRMA quoted James $360 for his insurance renewal. That's $92 more than they were going to charge a new customer online. Bill Suncorp renewal notice was $66 more than a new customer, who'd also get a $50 discount online. And Greta's renewal notice from Allianz was $77 more expensive than if she reapplied online. What a bunch of... Uh... ...souls. The good news is it's usually pretty easy to get insurers to waive the lazy tax. All it takes is a phone call. When Frank's QBE premium jumped to $612, he gave them a call and... Then they knocked $52 off. Then later, another $70 when I told them I was leaving. When Mark's Yui House Insurance jumped 12%... I told them I'd got a cheaper quote elsewhere, and without even asking to see it, they gave me a loyalty discount. We asked each of these insurance companies... Why don't you offer existing customers the best possible premium on renewal notices? And Yui said... It's a loaded question. Yeah, we do that. But then they said... Risk and profile changes may result in a further premium adjustment. Yes, if the customer's profile changes sometime between picking up the phone and threatening to leave. Suncorp admitted... We often have special introductory offers in place to attract new business. But added... It's about a lot more than the price. They say service is important, and maybe so. But when it comes to insurance, I think money's pretty important too. And NRMA denied everything, saying they offered renewing customers the best possible premium based on their risk profile. Is that true, James? No. And it's not just insurance companies that charge the lazy tax. Phone companies do it, internet companies, banks, gyms, electricity and gas. Virtually all ongoing service providers do it. Can't be asked going through the details. Hmm? Oh. Uh, so the message is clear. When you get a renewal notice, shop around. Mm. Mm. It could save you hundreds. Mm.